Another way to organize our information on our page, and it's very similar to the accordion method, is using tab panels. It's really great when your page is constrained on width and height and you have a lot of information to provide. Tab panels can be very useful in showcasing that content. All they have to do is click on a tab. Now accordion basically has the the headings that are listed uh, with the tabs. What it'll do is the tabs will be at the top and they can click on the tab going across and um, it will only open up that panel. So it's the accordion tabs work almost very similar uh, in case with that. Now in this case what I want to do is I want to manipulate my contact information on this page. And what I want to do is I want to have a couple tabs here. One that's going to have information about who to contact and then the, I'm going to have a tab that has the map to the course. Okay, so I'm going to use the tab option here to create tab. And the first thing I do is again, just like with accordion, I have to have the structure of HTML set up correctly. Um, so what we have to do is first thing we're going to do is we have to group the tabs by a bulleted list. By a bulleted list. So and we're going to we're going to actually add it within a div tag for that case. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down here below my contact information and my code. I'm going to put some information in here. First of all I have a div tag called ID equals tabs and inside this div tag I'm going to list out the UL tag. It's a bulleted list with two list items. Now if you wanted to have three tabs going across, four tabs, that means you're going to have to have a couple extra list items listed here. Now if I look at this and I run this real quick quick. You can see it's just listing out the bullets. That's it. That's what a list does. But we don't want that. We want to have it go side by side and as a tab. And so that way it opens up the panel that we're going to be working with. Now we added the ID up here where it says ID tabs to uniquely identify this group of links so jQuery can find it. And that's always important. Now it's time we want to add uh, the HTML um, tags that we're going to use for the panels. So the key here is IDs and div tags. So we're going to have two div tags that's going to have information for the panel for league contacts and one panel is going to be used for map to the course. Now the, the panels are itself has to go within that div tag that you created. So after my closing UL tag I have, I'm going to put in two div tags that's going to house the information for those two panels that are going to match up to the two list items that are going to be right here. Again, with the IDs you can have uh, any name, but uh, again they have to be unique names. Now what we have to do now is we have to modify this list, these two list items, so we can link these tabs to the panel information. To the panel information. We can do so by adding anchor tags. So up here at the top and linked contacts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in A for anchor, HREF equals, and then quotation marks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say pound hashtag contacts. Again, what we're doing here is we're identifying the ID panel that we're going to be working with. So then I got to put my closing A tag in. I'm going to do the same thing here. Again, I have to have the link so when I click on the tab it knows what panel is connected to which. I'm going to do a hashtag and map. And then of course, closing a tag. So now we got our tabs linking to our panel IDs. Now it's time to add a little scripting. So what we're going to do up here in our script section, we're going to use document.ready and we're going to use the dot tabs method. And all we have to do is we have to identify the section that we want tabs. So right now, 
we're going to identify this this section here where it says div ID tabs. So we're going to identify, say, hey, go find the hashtag tabs. I'm going to use document.ready. Document.ready may indicates that when the page loads, we want this to be available. And so here, in this case, you can see here I'm putting a dollar sign in. I'm doing hashtag tabs within uh, single quotes. You can be double quotation marks as well. And then all I'm saying is dot tabs. Okay. Now, if I run this real quick, it's not going to look anything. So let's take a look at it. You can see that nothing's happening here, nothing's side by side or anything. It doesn't even look like tabs. Okay. So this is where you have to format <laughs> the actual tab itself. So what we have to do is we want those tabs to appear in line and not on top of each other. Right now the bullet list is putting it on top of each other. We also want to go eventually remove the bullets you know for that but to get it to side by side what we have to do is we're just going to use a simple float we're just going to go in and add a style sheet and we're going to say hey float uh, add float left so I can try to get it side by side now what I want to also do here is uh, you have to go in and it's important to use the right styles and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm not going to put in my external style sheet I'm just going to create a style section right up here at the top and then what I want to do here is, in this case, what we want to do is we want to apply a style to the list items and that are in my the tab list itself. But what you have to do here is you have to type in dot UI hyphen tabs hyphen nav. Then we're going to put a space LI. I'm going to put the curly braces in. And this is important right here because this is what jQuery, the jQuery library, is looking for. So if it doesn't find this and it's not set up correctly, it will not format those tabs. So now I'm going to go in because when you add a list, a list is a block element, so it adds space above and below your list items. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that space and just add add, add a little um, extra space on the right side of each of it so that's not the text is not side by side so I'm going to add a little margin on the right side and really simple on this part we're just going to say padding 0 margin 0 5 pixels this is just adding spacing on the right side and we're doing float colon left semicolon to get it side by side now if I look at this let's oops let me say that real quick again and let me run this you can see it's side by side. Now the problem is we have some bullets overlapping and so forth. We'll take care of that in just a second. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work with the formatting of the anchor tag. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take away the underline of the link so because we're going to make it look more like a tab version and so this time we're not going to apply it to the we're not going to apply the style to the li tag we're going to apply the style to the a anchor tag and the key here is that we're again saying ui tabs hyphen nav space a so this is going to affect the anchor tag right now we're going to say hey let's take this text decoration none which means remove the underline Display block is going to create that tab aspect that we're looking for because the anchor tag is what we call is a inline element. And then we're adding some extra padding um, on the right and um, left sides and a little bit at the top and bottom. And we're going to put a border around it, but we're not going to include the border at the bottom. We're just going to have it basically it's going to say it's going to go in and it's going to have the left top and right side. And notice how we said border bottom none. Um, right now, this would apply a border around all four sides. Then it reads the next style says, hey, we don't want any border at the bottom of that. So let me save this real quick. Let's view this. As you can see here, you have this nice little border going around it. Okay, to remove the bullets, 
Let's go into our code and we're going to add list style hyphen type colon none and we're going to add it to the li tag. That's going to remove the bullet and so now it's going to look like this. Okay, now once we have that we, we format our li tag, we format our, our anchor tag. Now we have to add a style to our panels. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want our pan, since we're added floats up here to the uh, lead contacts and map to the course, this is a float left and float left. We want our panels to go below the tabs, so we have to tell our panels to ignore the float to ignore the float. Now we can do that by saying clear both. If you learned about floats with CSS you know that's that is um, what we use to help ignore those styles. Now the key here though because we have to apply a style to the panel we have to use a certain wording so we have to use dot UI hyphen tabs hyphen panel. So what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm saying ignore the float with the clear both. I'm adding a border, adding a little extra padding. I'm adding also background color for that. So if I run this real quick, you can see that the content is going to be in this green area below it. Now if you didn't add clear both, actually the green would come to the right of the map to the course. So. Now let's let's add some content into this so we can actually see what it looks like. I have some stuff I'm going to just copy and paste over so I don't have to type it in. So in my first panel down here, I'm just going to put in a little form here. And the second panel. I'm just going to create a, I'm going to import or copy in an iframe um, that I took from Google Maps. Okay, so let's take it, let's look at this now with content. So as you see here, when I click lead contacts, I have a form here. And you see that the, the, the panel itself is uh, increases. Now if I click on map to the course, then I, I went in and I have the map showing in that area. So if I go back and click on lead contacts, boom. Now the good thing about this, this area that you have here that's in this green area, this this is controlled with styles. So if you wanted to go increase the width or increase the height, you can add width, you can add height, uh, and so forth. So right here is what we're controlling that styling for that part. Now the content inside the panels, it can be anything. As you see here, we added a form, we added a map. It could be an image, it could be paragraphs of text on that part. So the key is once you add the JavaScript in, you gotta stylize. You gotta use style sheets to help you work with that. So most people start going in, they think something went wrong because they didn't add any styles. So the styles that we learned here is we have to go in and have uh, one that affects the list items and we have to type in dot UI tabs hyphen um, nav and then we have to, to control the panel by UI hyphen tabs hyphen panel on that part. So it does, it just creates, when you look at this, it just really creates a nice little option. Um, some people will go in and make some other adjustments, uh, but again, keep in mind, uh, it's really to have this to look the way you want, it's all coming down to CSS, not JavaScript. And so if you want to add more uh, tabs, just remember, if I come back in here, you would have to add another list item. And then down here in your div tag, you have to have another div section. I'm just going to copy and paste this real quick. And I'll name that more. So that matches that. And again, depending on what you want, if you, if you want six tabs, you have to put in six list items. So here's more. 
and of course the image is going to come up here as well. So it just keeps going across like that. 